One planet. One place. 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 Welcome to One Planet, One Place, the TV show. The show for the human spirit. Brought to you in conjunction with the Evolutionary Business Council. Now, please welcome your host, author, international speaker, and growth coach, Simon Jordan. Hi, this is Simon Jordan. Welcome back to another episode of One Planet, One Place, and it's the TV show. Well, today I'm joined by a guy who's a visionary, a film director, producer, thought leader, and just someone who is so right. His message is so right for this time. Uh, we've, we're recording this in 2012, and in December, and it's coming up to the 21st of the 12th, of the 12th which people who, who do know, know that that's a very important time. So, Michael, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be on the show. All right, it's great. Well, let's just uh, introduce. You. It's Michael Perlin. <laughs> I forgot to say that. But I'm going to read a bit of your bit of your bio. You are, um, I say, you're a filmmaker, a videographer, editor, writer, and effects artist with over a decade of experience in the film industry and lengthy research into metaphysics. Michael went against all odds and became the first metaphysical filmmaker in Hollywood. I love that. So you've got a BA from the University of Texas. Um, I, I won't go through all this kind of stuff because it'll probably say something about your mother and your grandparents <laughs> whatever, and all the other stuff that's not really relevant. But basically, you've created this um, amazing film, which I haven't had the pleasure of watching yet because it doesn't get launched until the 21st of, of December in London. But you have created this, uh, this amazing film called The Three Magic Words. Now, we're not going to say what The Three Magic Words are, but we're going to talk a bit about it. So, Michael, what is all this about? Why? How did you get to where you are now? What was the? What was this? I know, re reading from your bio, you got a fortune cookie. Um, tell me about sort of from there to now, <laughs> you know, if you can. What? What? What is all this about? I'm trying to make it brief, but it's a lot, a lot of many years between mm. that. Um, I was about nine years old, and I got the fortune cookie that said. Uh, one of the greatest pleasures in life is doing what others say you cannot do. And I, something moved me when I got that, even at nine. And I took it out and I taped it on my, um, I think on my mirror. And that mirror turned into my first computer. And I taped it on the computer. And I just looked at it every day. And then whenever somebody says, oh, you can't do that. Or no, nobody can do that. It's too hard to do this or that. I see that fortune cookie and I'm like, I really believe this. I'm going to show them. I'm going to prove them wrong. And so when I um, started my search into metaphysics, it was because I didn't, uh, you know, think that we were doing things on this planet um, the right way. It just didn't. There was violence and war, and mm. and uh, you know, I had always been a lover of the '60s, and I didn't understand how we just lost that that peace movement somewhere. How it just ended, and I just say, what? How did that happen? Like it just came in, it was a bright light, and then it just got dark, dimmed, and, and then it, it went out. And so I always had the goal of kind of bringing that back, uh, you know, without the drugs. And yeah, um, on the free love, <laughs> hey. <laughs> and so maybe that was maybe that was its downfall. I don't know, but um, I um, wanted to bring that back, and I wanted to uh, find a way, and I wanted, I was searching for an answer to it to. And, and I started researching into world religions and spirituality and um, studied, started picking up books. And this was before the Internet was out, so I had to actually go physically into the bookstores and mm. go into the used book sections and find, uh, you know, little gold mines in there. And, and sometimes you'd find something, some, some Tibetan master would write or some Eastern mystic. And so I would find these books and, um, and learn that there was a whole other way of seeing reality that I wasn't taught um, about our oneness and about... Um, you know, seeing seeing the divine in every mm. single person that you meet, and that really rang truth to me. And I didn't understand why we weren't getting it. You know, I didn't know if people were 
were they not reading these books? Was I the only one reading it? So I was searching for a common theme in all the spiritual teachings mm. because I saw that the religions were all disagreeing with each other. It was causing us to fight against each other, and it's been since the beginning of, of history. So I searched for that. And one day, um, and this was in Dallas, Texas, before I even decided to be to come to L.A. and, and write screenplays or be a filmmaker, I found a book. Um, there was finally new new uh, um, new age book sections finally started to crop up, um, and uh, so I was walking through this new age section and I found this book called Three Magic Words by U. S. Anderson, and it was an old book and published in 1955, and I and in that book I took it home. And I found the answer I was looking for. I actually found a common theme that that I had read in all the books I was looking at. Mm. And so I decided that okay, so is what 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 does it take to get this message to the world? You know, I can't just pass this book around. People aren't reading anymore. They're yeah. just they were a big media culture. So I said, well, maybe I can you know learn how to make films and 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 write screenplays and I, I guess and I started talking to people about that and they so said, what, what age were you when you you obviously picked up the book and you thought right I, I need to get into film to create this message so what what age were you? Eighteen. Wow, that's that's quite a big thing, isn't it? For summer of eighteen to be thinking like that. Normally it's eighteen. I'm thinking of drugs, women, wine, fast cars, and that's it. But you're already at an early age, still your oh, yeah. formative years. You're thinking but there was all that too. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fair enough. But no, but to, to have that that mission, that that purpose and passion at such a young age, it took me a long time to find mine. But that's 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 quite incredible. Who who were you surrounding yourself? Well, here's the thing. I you know my my parents watched the news a lot. Yeah. And they had it turned up. It was it had to be the loudest thing on in the in the and on the in the house. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I came home every day after school. And I, the, we had rules. You know, you can't disturb them when they're watching the news. And every time I heard the news, it was violence, fear, yeah. uh, terrorism, uh, assassinations. You know, one year it was it was Sadat, and then another year it was um, I don't know, lots of people. But anyway, um, so uh, I just like well, this, and and I was just living my life happy. Mm -hmm. Playing and playing outside, you know, playing with yeah. uh, the, the sports and and seeing that that not not living in that world, and I saw this division between worlds. I'm like, well, that's a dimension. This like, people are watching TV and they're getting sucked into that that mentality of fear and and violence. And like, like is that really going on? Like, is that really is that what the whole world is all about? Do you do you think then? Just before just to, to interject, do you think then? The shift has got to come because I, I think we 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 all I think we all agree that there is so much crap out there, so much bad news, but we are pumped it by the media. We are fed the fear that we're in recession, that doom and gloom and blah 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 blah. And I I, I put something on Facebook the other day about do you think we have a, a soap uh, um, thing over here and it's you know it's called EastEnders and it's just just yeah. awful. It's every minute someone being miserable, crying, upsetting, right. shouting, anger. And I said, "Is there? What is the common thread between McDonald's and EastEnders?" I said, "They both fill you full of crap and leave a bad taste in your mouth." <laughs> and it's let me put it but, this way. Let me put it this way. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on mm. around the world, and you could move out to some um, remote island, you know, on the west side of Africa somewhere and you could live out your entire life in total beauty and harmony and happiness not hearing a word about it your entire life yeah that just shows you that you don't there it's the, the the world is so big there's so many people it's not really going on it's not that bad out there they're they're just picking the stuff that's mm. happening you hear about because it's and what what I was going to say is do you think then the shift has to come because okay we are the absorbers of the media some of us decide to opt out I haven't watched the news for, for for years I don't read the paper probably similar to you but do you think the shift also has to come from us saying to the media as a movement we don't want this stuff anymore we are fed up of hearing about this you know we it's just it's it's terrible you know the the thing at the moment which is going to be quite controversial, but the, the two Australian DJs who played the prank and pretended to be the Queen, and that nurse who committed suicide, it's terrible, but I think well, everyone's blaming them and all the anger and hate at them. Well, 
no one can force anyone to commit suicide. Um, it was a bad state of affairs, but I just, do you think we need to try and change the media to say, yeah. we don't want this crap anymore? Right, well, here's the thing. The media is, is when you say the media, it, it is, you're referring to the media as, an, as, an, as a large entity. Yeah. And the only way that the shift in consciousness is going to happen in entities is to the individual people that work in there are going to shift. Yeah. And the only way to shift, and that, and that goes with anything, with politics, Mm. With government, and so you, those individuals themselves have to go on their own path, and then they will shift. They will change within, and they will. And other people will learn from them, and like, yeah, we don't need to be talking about all this stuff anymore. But you know, that's their formula. That's yeah. There's a fire. There's some building. They're gonna run out there and get the coverage. That's their formula. They always they they want the the stuff that sells that the stuff that keeps them a, a, a survive. That yeah. keeps them alive is, and the murder and the, and the violence. So they report all that and that stuff. But you know, every now and then you hear about some little baby born in the zoo, some little panda bear. Mm. <laughs> but that's because they run out of news. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true. So, so you've you, you you at the age of eighteen, you decided that you found this book needed to create it into film to spread the message instead of sort of the, the one to few it was like you wanted to do the one to many message and really explode that to the world so what was then the process what what did you then go through and still having this this passion this purpose to get this message out there yeah um, when I started going on on to a spiritual path and I say that meaning I got a, I broke out of my religious programming mm -hmm. uh, I um, started to meet the right people. I started to go to the, you know, all of a sudden, 1995, there were, there was metaphysical bookshops um, starting to crop up. You know, that's never been before. It, oh wow! I, somebody told me about this place, and so I walked in, and you got the smell of the incense, and, and you know, books on yoga, really, you know, Hindu and stuff, and I was just really feeling connected to it. And so I would people, those places, I started to learn about meditation. Um, and uh, started to uh, learn about um, uh, you know spiritual healing and and that's a real thing and that there are masters out there in the East that can perform miracles things that we heard only Jesus could do mm -hmm. that we you know so um, I started to realize there's so much out there that that we weren't being told and so I'm like well how come nobody's making films about this stuff. What what's up with that? And we've been in this the Hollywood business for such a long time. So mm. he's doing metaphysical stuff. I said, you know, okay, maybe I can you know shoot for that. And so I um, started to learn, started to plan the move to Los Angeles, and I made it in 1997, and wow. took off and came out here and um and uh, started to uh, I went back to school. Uh, in effects and and uh, and post production, and got myself into the film industry and started mopping floors on stage 29 at Paramount Productions, and uh, you know, kind of like that's how I got started. So I started to learn how things worked over here. I think it's amazing. So you you know that to have that vision. So when when you were Actually, just to rephrase that, what was in your head in terms of the dream? What was your vision? Because, you know, that's 15 years ago. Right. What kept you going forward? Because this is something, you know, in, in, my, uh, in my, 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 my other business, where I'm helping my clients grow their business, I say, you know, what, where do you want to be? What is, what is your why? Because when your why is big enough, it will pull you towards it. It will get you through the bad times. It will get you up early. You know, it will pull you through, keep you going, keep you energized. So what was, what was yours? My love for truth and metaphysics, and the reality that that uh, that people weren't seeing that that we're all one and we're all connected, and 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 you know I just saw everyone as a part of me, and so I wanted to help myself, mm. and because I saw people, I didn't see any division or separation. I was I, I saw us as one collective whole, and so it kept me going just to help all these people, and just wake up. And I, I'm not saying that in a, in, a, in a conceited way. I'm saying that in a way where I met so many people that were so down and out with their lives mm. and that hated their parents and that they um, were losing their jobs and that they just didn't want to live anymore. And I just I saw that it didn't have to be that way if they just understood 
their connection with everyone else and 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 you start living in that dimension you start feeling more love and you start loving yourself more yeah you start you don't know, start seeing yourself you have a purpose and you start really living your life with that purpose and i just got up sometimes i'd wake up so early in the morning just to sit and write um with material about 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 our connection to each other mm. and and the earth. and um so what kept me going was that that drive that, that that I knew that just from all the research I did that there was um, an answer out there a solution to end all the wars and uh, I'm not saying that I had it through making movies that's just two cents I'm just it was my my I just wanted to put two cents in you know um, before I before I left this planet and and I saw like I, I read about all these people like MLK and Gandhi and John Lennon and and how much just an individual person can make a difference and they, they I would say they put eight to ten cents in mm. and I, I just wanted to put my two you know why why should I just be a, another person just kind of eating sleeping and playing and then dying and when all when all these other guys dedicated their entire lives for yeah change. yeah and so I wanted to do something no, I think you know. You know, what I think this film is. This is your fortune cookie for the world. <laughs> that people are going to stick on their computer. They're going to stick on their mirror. <laughs> Do you, you know what the three words are? No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people. Well, they ask me, please, what are they? I, I just want to know what they are. You know, I said, well, why would you want to know the end of a movie before you see it? Exactly. And, I explained to that me, but I also it's really important. I think that you go on the journey. Of, it's it's the the film takes you on a journey of self discovery. Yeah. yeah. Yourself. So it's really important that you go through that. And when you hear the words, it can be really shocking to a lot of people. Um, some people don't get it right away. They're like, "Oh, I can't. No, that can't be true." You know, and 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 so. Uh, but you know, it's a seed that's been planted, I think, and they'll go on a journey in their life, and they'll start to see the world a little bit differently, and yeah. start to realize, well, maybe there is something into this about my about where you know my my consciousness about is it really connected? Should I see myself as separate from everyone? Because if I do, then you will be. Or should I see myself, you know, as mm. as and 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 you know, it's 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 all about your perception. What yeah. do you even more in the dimension of of love, mm. if you have to see yourself as connected, and uh, and it'll make you a lot happier person. It is. It, it, I think this is something. I mean, this is such an important time, uh, and I think everything is for a reason. And people, you know, this whole thing about the the Mayan calendar and the world's going to, you know, die. No, it's 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 wrong <laughs> because the, the, it, the there is death. But it, it's, it's death of it's change. That's what it means. And someone actually looked into the main calendar. They didn't have leap years. And in fact, the end of the world should have happened about 15 years ago, according to their calendar. But this is a shifting time when it's all about change, a death of something old coming into the new. And I think for me and the, all the interviews I've done and the connections I've made, it's, it's, it's a change from instead of thinking with the ego, which is from the head, it's thinking from the heart, becoming more connected. And films like yours, the books that are being written, you know, the whole reason for me putting this show together, we, we talked before we, we I clicked record, it was saying we're on a similar path, you know, one planet, one place, we're all spinning on the same rock. And it's about getting people to realise that, you know, it's not just your family that you're connected with, it's outside of the front door, the people that you're connected with, all the people in your office, the people in your neighbourhood. And those people, and it just goes out like a huge web. We are all connected. Mm -hmm. So, what is you know, once this film is out, um, what is then the next mission you, you're wanting to inspire? To this is obviously part of your legacy as well. What, what you know? Yeah. I mean, this has been you know, you've been working up to this point for a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, and especially this day coming up, December 21st. Yeah. And uh, you mind if I talk about my event since we're no, absolutely uh, not. No, go go for it, go for it. Uh, so, yeah, I've been waiting for this for December 21st, 2012, my whole life. I think we all have, and wondering where we were going to be. And uh, so I've. Uh, it just so happened that I, I teamed up with Dolores Cannon and Ozark Mountain Publishing, and I came to London, and which is where I am now. 
Um, and we're putting together a uh, very big event at the Odeon West End in Leicester Square on the 21st. Uh, the Three Magic Words European premiere and uh, celebration for Earth's entrance into the Golden Age or the Age of Aquarius. And, um, you know, I, I think it's just it's so appropriate that, that we're doing this event on that day because this day is, is, is really important as a... For a new shift in our consciousness, yeah. and there's so many alignments occurring. The Mayans, um, they actually knew about that would be affecting our entire solar system, and they believed in a, a spiritual transition for mankind at this moment. Yeah. And I believe that's really happening. I think that there's a huge wave of, of consciousness, of spirituality, happening all over the planet. I'll, you may not hear it in your traditional uh, media stations because they're not going to talk about that kind no, of thing. No, it's too, it's too woo-woo for them. Yeah. Walk down the street. Look how many yoga places are, are around. Look how many raw, raw food and vegan places are going on. Mm -hmm. How many vegetarians are in the world? It's just it, the wave is, is it's growing. And people walk. You can ask somebody if they've heard of meditation or chakras, and they'd be like, "Oh, yeah, I've heard of that." Yeah. Where in the they'd be like, "You're nuts." Yeah. <laughs> um, it's it's happening, and um, this day is is a, marks a, it's it's a marker. Um, for our consciousness, where um, I think that uh, if we collectively start to think at, on, a, on a higher dimension uh, of love, you know, a higher a shift in consciousness will happen uh, over the uh, across the whole planet. And so I hope that if you're hearing this, or you're in London, uh, you'll come out to this event because we're gonna. It's a big party. We're gonna do uh, the movie premiere. It's a special um, version of the film, an international version. We're gonna show. And there's, we're going to have uh, uh, live performances by Lucinda Drayton um, and Lorna Thomas and Ryan Inglis and uh, a film panel. Um, and we're going to be uh, actually announcing the Declaration of Consciousness to the world. And so, it's, yeah, it's, it's a declaration for the first time we're going to be, uh, humanity will be announcing their Declaration for Consciousness. Um, and that will be broadcasted live on the web. So you can see that in We'll be presenting this to world leaders and UN, and so it's a big deal. And you can sign it online uh, as well after the event. Brilliant. Well, we we will get this this recording because we never do these recordings live, but we will get that out way before then. In fact, we'll I will try and edit it and get this out today. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's fantastic to help be a part of that um, and to get get the message out. It's it's I think it's wonderful. I think your mission is is incredible. So you're gonna. Keep just to, to trying to put this put this mission uh, this this message out there and try and get as many people as possible to really embrace this whole movement this whole conscious shift. Right, and and that's my I've always wanted to do this. You know, I'm, I'm finally living my dream, which is mm. to start a movement of spirituality um, that people can really understand in their language. That's not um, that doesn't uh, go against their own belief systems and yeah. and this does not you know I, I believe you can be any religion you want it's like your favorite color so what why hate somebody because they like blue yeah or yeah. you know or totally, red totally understand it's that it's a yeah. preference it's a choice it's like I like to eat you know I like to eat this or I like to eat that so so what I like to I like this guru I like that guru it doesn't matter who, who what you believe in as long as you you know live in in harmony with others and 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 you know not not do anything that affects their own spiritual lib liberation. Yeah, spiritual liberty. Oh man, yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, the the, the uh, when I created the name for One Planet One Place before I came up with that, I said I just found this really nice image of the world being held in these hands, and I came up with this line said, "Don't think of the world se as separated by countries. I think of the world as separated by ignorance." And it is. People see, oh, you're Asian, you're black, you're Chinese. Well, you're different. No, we are all cells. On a subatomic level, which you you know about, but yeah. we are all the same. We everything is connected. I'm just this racism, sexism. It's just we have to shift. And I interviewed Jennifer Huff, and she was saying, out of the, you know, as a, as a as a as a body, as a human, we have so many trillion cells inside us, which all get along. We flow. We move. Yet. It's like a tenth of that. So if you looked at all those cells as humans, there is a tenth of that, and we don't get on. And it's just, it's crazy. You're, and I you're, think, 
it's you just pulled you just pulled that right out of the the movie. That was uh, that, uh, that 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 yeah, that content is <laughs> there. <laughs> ah, right. Well, there you go. It was shared. Well, that was a little snippet for the people. Oh, hey guys, I haven't yeah. seen this, but it is. It's it's true. You know, we we get along within our bodies. Okay, people have cantonese on aspects because we various different elements, and I'm going to go into that, but um. We need to be able to go on. It's just shifting with the consciousness and, and filling ourselves with, with more happiness. So in your journey, because we're, we're going to start to wrap up, the in your journey, then, what kind of challenges did you come across? Um, I, did you come across battles of people going, Michael, just don't be stupid. What have you been smoking? You know, are you crazy? Yeah. You could, every obstacle you could think of it came my way, and, and I challenged them head on because I eat obstacles for breakfast. That's you, what I and felt. your fortune cookie. <laughs> have, you, have you still have you still got that bit of paper? I do. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's falling apart, but I I put some you know, scotch tape on it, so it's, it's nice and. So tell me the the kind of battles and struggles that you you came across, and what did you have to learn in order to keep going to 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 fulfill your dream? I learned that you can manifest anything you want to, um, and you don't even need money to do it. If you Put the energy, put your focus and your energy, and 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 keep putting it on something that you want to achieve. The money starts to just follow, mm -hmm. and and the universe starts to conspire to what you want. Um, you know, you just have to have the strong determination. And I know this because I started with no money. I was in and out of desk jobs, working nine to five. I had an idea for a movie from being inspired from that by the book, and. Uh, and I be really believed that I could do it. I had a little experience. I, I I I did a short film that fell through the cracks, and and I and I just picked myself up and got started again and decided to make a feature film, even even though I failed the first time. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't have any money to do it. I got I ordered a green screen from eBay for like 15 bucks and threw it on my wall. And then I met with a friend more often when I told her the idea that I had, that I had, I had this message, this common theme from our spiritual teachers in history, and I wanted to make a movie. And she said, well, I happen to know all, all the teachers and speakers that know that message, and I can get yeah. them together for you. And I said, you're hired. Let's do it. You're a producer, and we're going to make this movie. And so that's when we started bringing people in and interviewing them in front of the green screen. And uh, I didn't know what I was gonna, what what we had. I just thought I had a whole bunch of clips. And uh, as the process went along, I just started to learn about documentary filmmaking. And, um, found an editor that could make the magic happen, and it was just, it was, it was really difficult to get it all together um, and get it all finished. Yeah. Especially with a full-time job. I mean, the shooting happened within a period of four years, and the actor, you know. It's it's really hard to keep consistency when you're doing that. Like normally, it, you you do a film in a month or two and you're done. Sometimes even less. And you have a set schedule and people come in and then then they're gone. You never see them again unless the film's successful. You bring them in for for a premiere. But um, yeah, this was really difficult. Um, I just just believed that I could, it was my hobby. It was what I did on the side. You know, on the week shot on the weekends. You know, I edited on weekends and I went to work every day. And so. You know, you if you have a dream, you know, follow that dream, and you can really do it. You can really complete something. Um, and that's all I had was a dream that I could do this. And so, um, I still can't believe that that it it actually is being received as well as it is, and people are actually being transformed with the feedback I get from it. So, yeah. I, I'm just very pleased that all my hard work is has come to the to uh, um, was worth it. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Well, it, it gets really. So, where can people find out more about this? This, uh, you know, what, what's the website address that people can go to? It's pretty easy to remember. Three Magic Words Movie dot com. Simple. That's the digit or the uh, word. Brilliant. What, what we'll do, we'll we'll stick up the link down there. Well, Michael's fantastic. Sadly, I'm I'm not going to be able to there on on the uh, on the launch because I will be travelling north with my children. That's and that's to be, that's my special time okay. with, with with my kids. It's because um, they, they don't live with me. I only see them every couple of months, and we're having Christmas together. Well, farm. you know what? It was either going to be come to London and do this movie premiere an event, or I was going to be meditating in the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramids on December 21st. Wow. So I chose this. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. That's excellent. But Michael, it's been a real pleasure. So one last thing. Tell me something not many people know about you. Tell you something people don't know about me? Yeah. I have a twin brother. 
All right. <laughs> an, an identical twin? We look we look pretty identical, but uh, biologically they say we're fraternal. So. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, look, it's a real pleasure to, to interview and to help try and be the conduit to share this message to, to the world, you know. So, guys, if you're watching this, do click on the link. And if you are around, I mean, I would say to the guests, don't say anything that's sort of time sensitive, but I will get this out before then. But if you're watching this in January 2013 or whenever you watch this on the site, on, on YouTube, wherever, go through, you can purchase the DVD. When, is, when will the DVD be available? It's available now. Okay. On the website. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, we'll put yeah. all the links up um, on there. So go and check it out. You know, if you're you're obviously watching this because you believe in this high consciousness, you want to make a difference. We can all make a difference, and it starts with us. You know, don't wait for the media to change. You know, well, I talked about that at the beginning, but we have to do it. Michael's saying we have to make that change. We can do it. You know. I we think we did it. Yeah. I think we're here, and I, I think we're going to be here after. In 2013, we're going to be able to do this and talk, and we'll be all happy, and we'll be feeling it. So brilliant. get ready, get ready for the shift. Oh yeah, no, I think it's brilliant, and I think you, you know, get a huge applause for you to do this. It is brilliant. It's so needed. It really is. So thank you, you know, thank from you my for heart. Doing for doing what you're doing. Well, thank, thank you, you for this. This is amazing, and you're doing the same. We have the same mission, and I think you're you're just bringing people together, and it's it's very important to be doing what you're doing too. So. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, my, my pleasure. And if I'm, I'm just, I'm just here to be the conduit to share these people's, you know, people's messages and to, 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 to the wider audience. And you are doing exactly the same. It's wonderful to be part of that. Michael, you're an absolute star. Thank you so much. Thanks, Simon. And I will speak to you soon. Next time we'll, we'll meet up. We'll do it live. I'll come over to Hollywood. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> I'll show you around. Brilliant. So this is me, Simon Jordan, saying thank you very much to Michael. Check out the film. I'll run the link up again down there. If you can get to the premiere, brilliant. If you can't, buy the DVD. You know, it's investment in the rest of your life. I really would say that. This is Michael's fortune cookie for you. You know, what what huge gift he's giving to the world from him. and What a dream. Amazing. So don't forget you can subscribe on there if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on the channel. But leave your comments as well. What do you believe is the shift that's going on in you, in your world? What could you think you could do? Love to, to, to get your comments and I'll pass them on to Michael. So stay tuned. We've got more excellent guests coming up. So thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. Be inspiring. Make a difference and give back. Take care. Bye. You've been listening to One Planet, One Place, the TV show. To make sure you don't miss a single episode, please subscribe on our website or via YouTube. Simply search for One Planet, One Place. And if you've enjoyed this show, then don't forget to share it and click the like button. Thank you for watching.